Yo, what's going on, family? What's good with everybody, man? I hope everybody's having a great year this year, man. So far, uh, I know we're just like, it's new. It's 2022. It's fresh, man. We got people getting after it, man. But we got some stuff to talk about, man. So, let's hit it. Okay, family, what's happening, man? Trap Vision 3D, man. If you're new here, man, appreciate you being here, man. You made it to the lifestyle. And on the lifestyle, man, this year, this year on the lifestyle, we're going to be talking about a lot of watches, man. A lot of watches, shoes, colognes, you know what I'm saying? Thanks to my man, Kimon. Uh, We're going to be touching bases on a lot of stuff, man. But as you can see in the background, uh, there's a few watches right here, right? Uh, if you guys are not familiar with this, this show that I'm watching right now is Shop HQ. <laughs> Now, I've had questions all the way from 2020 about, you know, hey, Trap, you know, I want to collect watch for, you know what I'm saying, my husband or my friend or what should I get my dad? And I always kind of referring back to this, you know, like, hey, look, you want to, just depend on how much you want to spend, you know, some people want to spend like anything under $1,000, anything, you know, um, but they do have some watches that's well over a grand. Uh, but if you're just trying to get something basic, you know what I'm saying? Like, you want to know, is it worth it? You know, like, what's the price? What's your experience with it? And uh, we're going to be breaking that down over the course of this year, man. But I just wanted to let you guys know that there's a lot of watches on the horizon when it comes to Invicta. You know, uh, there's other watch companies that we're going to be touching bases on. But for today's episode, we're going to be focused on Invicta. Um, and it's more than the typical pro diver in the speedway. Right? You see that? I was waiting for that to pop up. <laughs> uh, I know the Magnum fans are excited. Uh, this is something brand new to Invicta right now. As far as the colorway, they got these different labels that they have. Uh, but this is just one of, gosh, thousands. So, if you're not familiar, every year Invicta... You know, they make a certain amount of watches, you know. Uh, they have so many different lines from Speedway to the Pro Diver, the Lupa, um, the Bolt Collection. And this is a part of the Bolt Collection, this purple label. Uh, and what is a label? Uh, basically, you have, uh, in the beginning, Invicta had the black label, then the blue label. And then they moved on to a um, platinum label. And I may be missing one, but now they got this purple label now. Did I miss one? Oh, gold label. They have the gold label. I know because it's gold and like origin. I don't have any of those in my collection. Uh, I do have some blue label in my collection, but uh, this is the latest thing. But if you want to know what what is Invicta going to be bringing out this year, it's sort of hard to tell. Uh, I can, matter of fact, here I'm gonna show you right here. This, these are a few watches I found on their website. If you go uh, to Invicta webpage or just type in Invicta.com uh, and go down to their home page, not the store, but their home page, uh, as you can see here, that will direct you to uh, a number of watches and how you actually go through that website is basically, the best way I can tell you is, first, if you have, no, this is your first time looking on that website, go over to watches, click on the, the link to save watches, you know, over in the right hand corner and it'll break down all of the watches they have you'll see the collaborations and stuff like that and just go from there once you get familiar with whatever title of the watch that you like you know what i'm saying like i don't know if they still make wildflowers that's for the ladies but they'll show you all the watches right there but i'll tell you go back up to the search bar type in sabakwa right and then it'll show you a bunch of watches then you go over and click on uh see all then it'll drop down all just go straight through uh all of that but i have a question this is for the Invicta collectors man. all you guys what do you think and i'm going to show you a number of watches <laughs> So tell me, like, 
what do you guys think about the overall direction? So I'm, I'm gonna show you something. Um, last year, I copped this right here, right? This is an automatic titanium. It's a basic pro diver. It has the green dial. Uh, I believe the uh, standard name for this would be like, I think the Star uh, Starbucks. Yeah, Starbucks. I think it was another one, but I'm calling it Green Lantern. But it's, I mean, it's a basic watch. It's a nice, I guess you can call it a beater. Uh, titanium it doesn't have a coating and it has mineral crystal on it and it's 35 and it uh you know simple paid like 88 bucks for that this is one that i got this a few years ago but there i'm showing you this because they're actually coming up with more of these uh with the nh35 this one has the uh, ronda argo 50 uh power in it and I believe the new ones that are coming out, matter of fact, let me see, let me see if I can find them. But the, the new ones that are coming out uh, have a media right dial with different colors and stuff like that. Um, and just depending on how it's priced. Now, this was originally a part of the Imperius watch watch line that Invicta purchased. But I'll just let you see how many that is. You see the Invicta logo there. And it's fingerprinted up. You know, I've been touching all over this thing. All right, um, screw down crown, pretty nice watch. And then, now, here's the conflict watch. Uh, this one is pretty thick watch. This was originally called a hybrid. Now, we still call the hybrid on the Invicta actual official page, but Shop HQ is calling it the Fusion. So, I, hey, y'all, look, I don't make this stuff up. But I'm showing you these watches uh, up close and personal uh, because it's just like, what are you guys collecting this year? Will you be able to get the watches that you want, you know, this year? And I don't know, you know, where's your taste level? I know some people have jumped off the ship of Invicta because of the stuff that they've come out with. Um, it's unfortunate, I guess, for Invicta, you losing some people, you know, for some of the stuff. Uh, but you know, I, I like one uh, one collector said, "Hey, you know what? If you like a particular brand within or a particular watch inside the Victor's catalog, put blinders on and look at that watch, and don't worry about the rest of it." You know what I'm saying? Because you get what you like. Um, case in point, I purchased this watch last year. Uh, it has the root beer dial to it. it has like a gold tone. I mean, like the accents is gold tone, and it has a media right dial. I'm not crazy about that class, but. You know, I think, me personally, I think it should have had the uh, reserve clasp on it. And even with an NH35 in it, they still, I still feel like they should have, you know, because it has reserve on it. See what it is. Believe me. And it's not set. I didn't even have this thing running. It has reserve on it. And um, I know we had a conversation about, like, what is reserve now with Invicta? Because I missed the train of, like, the 2000 through 2013 where they were making some fire watches, man, like all Swiss made, like screw down crowns, and they was calling the Grand Octane, the Grand Arsenal. Uh, I missed out on that, so the only way you can get into that now is basically uh, by purchasing from another collector or eBay. So, y'all, let me know what you think on some of these watches, man, the stuff that's coming up. Are you feeling this right here? That's the Magnum, you know what I'm saying? Um, maybe featured on the channel one day. Who knows? Uh, but anyway, I think that's a crazy colorway. Got any questions or whatever, man, drop down in the comments, man. Let me know what you're thinking, what you're feeling, man. If there's anything that you want to see this year on the channel, as far as watch-related shoes, like we're going to be talking about shoes, which I hear that to this year, if you're a Jordan fan, I'm hearing bad things, y'all. Yeah, I'm hearing bad things. So, we will have Mr. Unbox to let us know about that stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, y'all be looking out for that until the next Lightning Strike family. You guys have a great year. Have a great day, man. Take care of each other, man. Y'all be blessed.